Well, hello everybody. Do me a bit of finishing touches on my makeup. Welcome to the vlog. Good morning, everybody. How is everybody doing? What time is it? I gotta leave in like 10 minutes, but I just wanted to take a second to say welcome in. I am currently going to an audition. So we're filming Awake in My Life. Um, if you're new here, my name's Alexis. I'm 26, I live in New York City. We're in my room right now. I'm in the process of packing my backpack because we are going to an audition. Besides this YouTube channel, I'm also an actor, singer, dancer. Uh, and shockingly, I'm actually going to a real life audition today. It's actually for the Radio City Christmas Spectacular. Um, not to be a rocket. I am too short. I grew up doing the Rockettes summer intensives. I would come to New York in the summer from Ohio. I'd train with them. I wanted to be a Rockette so badly as a child. Um, but then I hit five foot four and I never grew any taller. And to be a Rockette, you have to be five five. But the Christmas Spectacular has an ensemble um, of dancers as well that aren't the Rockettes and that's what I'm auditioning for today. I auditioned for this two years ago. I did vlog it if you remember. It's actually um, last time I auditioned for this I found out that day. I came home and I was like I feel kind of weird. Uh, I thought I was just nervous. I had COVID. Um, so fingers crossed that doesn't happen again. I don't think it will because I just had COVID like two months ago. Last time I auditioned they essentially were like there's like one or two spots. Um, and there was hundreds of people auditioning. So honestly, I'm doing this more for the experience, more for a good time. We're just gonna go around and see what happens. So I don't think I need to bring a headshot and resume because I think I already submitted that when I got an appointment, but I'm gonna put one together just in case. And then we're gonna head out. I kind of need to eat, but I'm not super hungry. So that's all my updates. Uh, good morning. Okay, did that. I think I'm just gonna wear this leotard in tights. I did literally snag a hole in the tights five seconds ago, which is very annoying, but. Okay, we're doing a tight change. I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn the camera off. This is like the only sweatshirt I ever wear. We'll talk about it more when I get home. I was a little over ambitious to not put my sweatshirt on. I'm literally just walking in my leg and sweatpants. Um, it's a little colder than I thought. It is 60 degrees out. Um, I think in the sun it'll be warmer, so I think I'm gonna keep the sweatshirt on. But I had a good audition. I'm gonna grab some lunch. I think I'm gonna walk home just because it's so nice out. And then today's the eclipse day. So we'll talk about that more when I get home. It's only like noon. So I have the whole day ahead of me. So we'll talk more when I get home. This probably isn't the ideal place to film because there is a very, very loud thing right here. I found a little corner to stop and put my sweatshirt on. Okay, this is definitely too loud. Definitely too loud. Let's go. Ever since I went to that Panera event with their new menu and their new menu is like launched as of this week, it's all I've been thinking about. So we went to Panera to pick up some lunch because I'm hungry uh, and a coffee. I haven't had any coffee yet today. The audition was good. I did not get kept. It's a very, very small cast. There's only 14 people on stage in the ensemble in the Christmas Spectacular. They have two casts, so technically like 28. 60% um, of the slots were already filled for people who were coming back from years past. I kind of knew this going into it, um, but I thought it would still be worth it to go audition. Um, and glad I did it. So let's go get lunch. There's a lot of noises, so we'll actually talk when I get Panera got rid of their frozen coffees. 
I guess, in this relaunch. Like, they rebranded, got new stuff, but they retired all the frozen coffees. I'm so sad. That was my favorite thing. They got rid of the frozen mocha years ago, but I was okay with the frozen caramel cold brew. You know, that was okay. But now they're all gone, so I just had to get a normal coffee. And I'm so sad. I mean, it's okay, I'll live. But I'm not like a Frappuccino fan or anything. Like, I would never get that at Starbucks. But a frozen coffee at Panera was just different. It reminded me of my childhood. And now that's gone. So I guess this is a metaphor. I've grown up. And now I just have to get a real coffee at Panera. Okay. Um, but got it. <laughs> Headed home. I am home. Today's eclipse day. Uh, the eclipse is happening in like an hour. Well, it's beginning. And all of a sudden, my friend Kevin has some eclipse glasses for me, but I'm a little scared I'm gonna like accidentally look at it. I got the bacon mac and cheese and the bacon ranch cob. I love bacon. Um, so I'm gonna eat my lunch and then head to Central Park and I'm gonna watch the eclipse. I'm wearing a hat because I'm gonna go outside. So I am gonna go to the park to watch the eclipse with my friend Kevin. I'm just a little nervous I'm gonna accidentally look at the sun. I've literally never looked at the sun before, but I just feel like I'm gonna do it on accident. Um, it's a beautiful day outside today, it's like 65. I think New York is only gonna get between like 80 and 90% darkness when the actual eclipse happens, but I braided my hair, made it a little better. Um, my friend Kevin is calling me right now and we're about to go watch the eclipse. <laughs> Hey! Okay, yeah, come meet you outside your apartment and Zach's gonna come too and grab glasses. Kevin and I have found a spot in the park and I brought my little mic because I knew it was gonna be pretty crowded and people would probably be talking even though it's actually not that loud. Um, this is my friend Kevin. You know him, you love him, you've seen him. Um, we're rocking our chic glasses. Um, thank goodness Kevin had some because I did not plan ahead. I was planning on just laying face down on my bed in my room because I was scared of the sun. Um, but this Shout isn't out my as. Roommate's boyfriend. Thank you so much for these <laughs> from your eye doctor. Thanks, Kyle. So we're just. Uh, oh, again. I'm, I'm okay. I feel good. I keep like. It's like the no. forbidden fruit. Like I keep every time I'm told not to look at it, I'm like, oh okay. <laughs> That's what I keep Sharon. doing too. I all I want to do is look at the sun. But it's gonna be lasting for like another hour. The peak is about to happen in like maybe ten minutes. Um, so we brought stuff to crochet. Kevin is crocheting his very first thing ever, and I'm working on the blanket. I'm so excited. My wooble. Doing a wooble. A narwhal. Wait, I kind of feel like the sun's behind me. Like, will it mess it up if, like, the sun is behind me and my... You know what I mean? No, because it's up that way. Oh, okay. I think I'm good. It's getting dark here, and it's kind of crazy to watch. Like, it's a little... It's almost getting a little eerie, a little spooky. I'm curious how dark it's actually going to get, because my parents are in Ohio, and they're, like, pretty much in the path of totality. So they said it got pitch dark there, but I don't know if that's going to necessarily happen here. Um, but it's 321 right now and it's supposed to happen at 325, so we'll see. So cool. This is really Wait, so then what's a, um, I was gonna be like, what's it like when the moon's behind the sun? That's not, <laughs> wait, that's, is that a thing? How can, wait. Oh, wait, no. no. <laughs> or what, what percent are we again? I saw 90, 90 Zach visible. told me 86. Well, I don't even know what that means. I don't either. I want it to get really dark. What time is it? Oh, it's 3.25. It looks like... Oh, are cloudy. I don't like that there's a million there's sirens There's so many happening sirens right around in New York. I'm like, are people getting into accidents? I keep hearing either screams of glee or <laughs> screams of I know. Of I'm just fear. hoping it's like outdoor resets. Yeah. Well, that's a chair. Okay, but why, it's why still are we cheering? Like why are we cheering? Why are we cheering? Oh, I guess it's... Um, are they seeing something different than what we're seeing? Well, I guess it's like... I still see the sun. I also do. Why is everybody cheering? <laughs> I liked it. I'd give it a... <laughs> a solid 7 out of 10. Yeah, I'd say that's 7 out of 10. A few points for community. Um, it feels like everyone's okay. here together for the same purpose. Yeah, nice weather.
without the hat on <laughs> my hair looks crazy let's take the braids out that was that was not as scary as I thought it was gonna be I kind of was expecting it to be like the world gets pitch dark and you can't look anywhere near the sun or you'll go blind it was fine we survived we made it I was expecting it to get a little darker but I didn't really know what to expect at all so I, I'm glad I went outside and I watched it and it was really fun seeing like everybody just in Central Park watching it um I feel really lucky to be able to like experience that I got this green chef meal you remember a few weeks ago Emily and I got green chef um and we're doing it again this week we did forget to pick our meals though two look delicious one looks questionable it'll probably be good all right I have like a list of things that I kind of want to get done, but I want to sit for a second. I need a snack. I had a workout scheduled for today, but since I auditioned, I walked over two miles today, and I've been outside a lot, I'm gonna move my workouts to tomorrow. The rest of the night is in here, and I gotta clean up this living room because it's kind of a mess. We are making corn and bean stuffed peppers. Um, Emily's probably gonna get home in like 45 minutes but I want to start cooking because I'm kind of hungry. I'm the only one home right now. Um, Zach and Emily are both at work. Perfect timing. I finished cooking and Emily had just gotten home. Woo! I didn't have to do one thing. I'm a trophy wife. So here's my stuffed pepper. It looks delicious. Bon appetit. Ah, the sweet morning sounds of construction. Um, and you know why? Because it's 70 degrees out today. It's 70 degrees out today. I feel like I gotta yell it. There's a lot going on out there, but it is going to be such a beautiful day. I'm wearing shorts. Um, so I'm headed to the gym. We're not gonna chat for that long. Happy Tuesday. It's loud outside. Um, but we'll talk more hopefully when this stops. I don't really know what's going on out here. Okay, so like I said, I'm back from the gym. I just had breakfast, I took a shower. It is a super beautiful day. It's gonna be 70 degrees. So me and Zach and Emily are gonna take a walk across the park. I wanna go to a thrift store to look for a jacket um, and just be outside because it's beautiful. So I'm wearing this, this set from Aerie. I had like a one piece like shorts and a tank top on, but that felt a little too ambitious. I don't know how warm it actually is outside. Like it might be a little windy, a little cloudy but it is the most beautiful day we've had so far this year. So let's take a walk through the park. store that we went to I've been looking for like a denim varsity like 90s jacket and the one time we went they had so many Emily bought one 
um, and I've been wanting one, but I went and they had not one. And I kind of feel like that's always how it is. When you actually are looking for something, they don't have it. So we tried. Zach and Emily are here. <laughs> Okay, I am home. Um, and honestly, it's not, it's only 2.15. I got a somewhat early-ish start on my day. For the next few hours, I have to get some work done. I have to make a few revisions on a video. I have to edit a different video. I have to reply to some emails, and then I wanna do a lot of cleaning. I have a lot of random boxes just kind of sitting around. I maybe wanna take out the recycling. I need to change my shower filter. I need to change Bennett's water filter. I have like a good amount of things to do around the apartment, so. Submitted my revisions that I had to send for a video. And now you're probably like, Alexis, what is, what is this? That's a good question. Um, this is Emily's. I'm stealing it from her right now. Um, and it's a backdrop to film auditions. I want to film me singing something for like a random audition. I just decided this right now. Um, and I've literally never used this or filmed anything in this apartment, so. Reasons I watch from the sidelines. I want to be easy to love. Now I'm reflecting on my wasted time. Must be insecure, you must be so unhappy. I'm gonna upload that, send that over, and then I need to work on editing another video. I have about an hour until I'm gonna meet my friend Maggie to go on a walk, so I'm gonna try to get this stuff done and then get this place cleaned up a little bit. And I need to get a little snack, because I realized I never really had lunch. I had a bagel though this afternoon, so. I'm back. I went on a walk with Maggie. This jacket's kind of cute, right? My grandma got it for me for Christmas. Oh, I just love the first nice day in New York. Like, I know that we've had a few pretty nice days, but today was just like a really nice day. Happy Wednesday. Um, I'm making my bed and then I'm heading out because I have a doctor's appointment this morning. You remember one or two Vlogs ago when I did a week in my life, I had an appointment with a specialist. So I'm going to my follow-up today to get some results, chat, um, figure out my little, my little thing I went in for. I'm literally going to the same exact area I was yesterday on the Upper East Side. <laughs> Okay, I am home. Just unloaded all my stuff that I got from Target. It's a little loud in here because I'm cooking and the ice maker's on. Um, my roommate Zach and I just took down all of our recycling and trash. I feel like I've had so many boxes uh, the past few weeks that I needed to take out, so we just broke all those down, took them out. Um, and now I'm making lunch. I'm gonna make a pasta because I have dinners from Green Chef to make with Emily this week. my lunch made a little pasta with broccoli onions I used coconut milk tomato paste and cheese yum just 
just finished uploading a video, just posted it live. Um, I'm really excited for this one because it was sponsored by Copilot. That's what I've been going to the gym and using every single week uh, for the past few vlogs that I've kind of been talking about. I love Copilot Fitness. They're just the best. I have a workout today I need to do with them that usually I would do in the morning, but I went to the doctor this morning. So right now I am gonna head to Zara with my roommate, Zach, and I said I would go with him. And then I'm gonna go to the gym. Okay, I am home. I took a shower. I went to the gym. Um, heated up my dinner, which is literally what I ate for lunch. Me and Emily have two more Green Chef meals left this week, but I, Emily's still at work and she's gonna work late tonight and I just could not cook right now. I, I don't know why I'm so tired. I had my doctor's appointment earlier today. I don't think I'm ready to share like what I've been going for, but got some results today. Um, I'm fine, but I do I learned some new information about my health. So did my best to kind of keep moving and grooving throughout the day, but now I'm kind of sitting here just thinking about it. So I'm gonna call my mom, eat my dinner, and then talk to you in a little bit. Good morning. <laughs> it is such a gloomy day outside today. I knew this was gonna happen. I knew it was gonna rain all day, but it is so dark. And I know I've been saying that about all the gloomy days, but it's probably the darkest it's been in a while. I have a lot of editing and just like stuff around the apartment I wanna get done. Um, so let's get up, make some breakfast. I kinda have a headache, cause when it gets like rainy like this, my head hurts. An omelet. It's loud in here right now, for sure. The dishwasher's on, the ice maker's on, but I'm gonna do a little grocery haul because I just went to the grocery store with Zach. Also went to the liquor store and got a Chianti and a Sauvignon Blanc, a little wine moment. I'm so sorry if this is loud, but we're just gonna work through it. I got tofu, Brussels sprouts, two types of olives. I got Kalamata olives and garlic stuffed olives. I love garlic stuffed olives, lemon, hummus, a Greek yogurt, a bell pepper, tomatoes, some lemon juice. I got this cannoli ice cream to try. Very intrigued about this. Got this cherry vanilla seltzer because it looked delicious, but I hate seltzer, but we'll see. Not, I, it looked so good, I wanted it. This is ridiculously loud in there. And then I went to the vitamin shop and I got more fish oil and magnesium. So we're not gonna talk for a little bit. I'm gonna go make some lunch. But you'll just watch it because it's a little loud in there, a little bit loud. Friday, everybody. Um, got up this morning, cleaned up my room a little bit, ate some breakfast, and now me and Emily are headed to a dance class. Uh, we're taking a theater jazz class. Oh, hi, Bennett. Taking a theater jazz class, and then after, I got invited to the grand opening of a new Baya Bar on the Upper West Side, so me and Emily are gonna head there. And then I'm going to a baseball game tonight. So we have a fun Friday today, uh, but I have to leave and head to the dance class, so. Good morning, happy Friday, let's get it. It's crazy how me and Emily missed the subway by one second, but we were like, it's fine, it's fine. There's gonna be another one in like five minutes. 
and then all of a sudden all the one trains are delayed none are coming <sighs> something happened so i'm wearing a cap classic always that something like this always happens to us <laughs> So Emily and I had a good class and Bayabar invited us to like their preview. They're opening a new location on the Upper West Side. So we're gonna go check it out. We love an outside evil, so this is very, very exciting. ready for the game. Emily and I are headed to a Mets game. Uh, I have my Mets hat. I've never actually been to a Mets game before. I've only ever been to a Yankees game. So Emily and I have had the baseball bug. We've been wanting to go to a baseball game and eat a hot dog. So that's what we're doing. I have this denim jacket that Emily literally bought me yesterday. I've been looking for one everywhere that like fit me in the right way. And she was at TJ Maxx yesterday and thought that this was exactly what I wanted. And it was. So Here's my outfit because I'm wearing the jean jacket. I'm wearing yoga pants, but here it is. And I'm excited. So we're gonna take the subway there and we need to leave now. So let's go to a Mets game. Well, everyone, as usual, I am in a chaotic state. I'm going to see The Great Gatsby. It's Saturday, happy Saturday. Me and Emily are going and I, we decided to look a little nicer. We got invited, so I'm wearing this, top and skirt. We got invited by The Great Gatsby to go and to go to a happy hour before. So we thought we'd dress up a little bit, look a little nice. Okay, so here's my outfit. Like I said, we're going to The Great Gatsby. We got invited by them, there's a little, happy hour before so emily and i thought we'd dress up i'm a little scared i'm too overdressed no i think it's perfect i feel like i look overdressed mm -mm. um i'm gonna wear a leather jacket but this is the outfit you know what yeah why not be overdressed yeah in new york you want to show them your outfit mm -hmm. just take off the top oh you figured out the shoes yeah i did just now Whoa. okay i did like a little messy ponytail look so i like wrapped my hair around so. Let's go. As usual i guess there was no ending clip to this vlog but i woke up on sunday i cleaned my room i edited a video and posted a video i went to the park i crocheted with some friends and then i came home and i called it a day thank you so much for watching if you haven't yet please subscribe to my channel give this video a thumbs up and i will talk to you in the next video bye